Hey guys, Adam Shaw here from Bavura Media Company. Today we have a vintage map of Nantucket Island in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The map was produced in 1838, and we're going to take a quick look at the different buildings and the streams and the ponds that are on the island and get to see the detail of this map. So let's take a quick look. If we zoom in, we can take a look at the town of Nantucket. And as you can see, there are streets, buildings, roads. Oh, and pretty cool aspect of this map. You have lighthouses labeled on this map and their locations. So you have Brant Point Lighthouse right here at the, the entrance of the Nantucket Harbor into the town of Nantucket. You have two lighthouses to the northern part of the town of Nantucket. Awesome. And then you have the different ponds to the west of the town of Nantucket. Reed Pond, Shallow Pond, Washing Pond, Capham Pond, Maxie's Pond. Oh, wow. An ancient burial ground is to the north. It looks like the north west of Nantucket, in the town of Nantucket. Ancient burial ground. Interesting. Cambridge. This looks like a wetlands area to the western part of... Yep. And then you have a really long pond that stretches across. It's called Hummock Pond. And these little dots right here seem to be buildings, whether they be houses or, or other types of buildings. I'm not sure. They're not labeled, but buildings nonetheless. I don't know if size has anything to do with it whether they're a house or a uh, factory or or something along those lines. I'm not sure. I don't think size has anything to do with it, but um, sheep pens. There were sheep pens. Wow, I didn't even notice that. To the southern part of Nantucket, the town of Nantucket, you have sheep pens right there. Cool. That's pretty cool. If we go to the eastern part of Nantucket Island, we can see another town, Polpis. And we have, you can see, uh, just a little kind of neighborhood, small little village to the eastern part of the island. A couple houses along the road, as you can see. And they have their own little harbor that boats can come into, Polpis Harbor, right there. That's cool. Uh, they have the to the north, Pocomo, and that's a wetlands area with Squam. These are Indian words. A couple of houses, I believe, to the the northern peninsula area. Oh wow! And you have a marine observatory. And you have all these different housing areas at Sias Conset lined up in front of uh, of the coast on Nantucket. Pretty cool. We can go to the western part of Nantucket Island and we see Tuckernuck. And there's a couple of houses to the northeastern part of that island. And then you have this long peninsula with a house right over here. I wonder what they did when a hurricane came by. I bet the flooding was extensive unless they were he heavily elevated on this part of the peninsula. It looks like there is some elevation as these lines dictate around around here. And then you got Hither Creek, Long Pond. Wow, they don't lie. This is really quite a long pond stretching across the, uh, the island of Nantucket. So, we offer this map at Bavura Media on physical printed products. We have this on printed posters, on wrapped canvas, on stamps, on cards, on postcards, on stickers, on flip-flops, on dart boards, on playing cards. We have this map on a lot of different items. So if you'd be interested in possibly decorating and using this map on 
a vacation home or your home or you'd like to give this map as a gift for someone on a mug or anything like that, check out our links below. We we probably have something that you'd be interested in. And, you know, take a look at our different individual objects. We'll have a, a link for all of our objects as well as examples of individual objects. So definitely check those out. If you like this video, comment and like it and uh, subscribe to us because we're going to have many, many more maps, Cape Cod maps, maps across from the United States, maps in Europe. We're going to have a lot of different content and we update practically every single day. So subscribe to us. We look forward to seeing you and you guys have a great day.